I'm going to start at number five, a guy that we sometimes forget about. We've talked a lot about him this week, but this guy could possibly be number one when he signs on a team. I'm going with DeAndre Hopkins. And five. He has made this thing so much fun. Yes, five, because okay. the other guys have done it more recently. Okay. We showed this one a few weeks ago. This is him against Joe Hayden, reaching up with oh. one hand and grabbing it with the other. I want to show these highlights of DeAndre Hopkins, because sometimes, like Roy Jones said, y'all must have forgot. You forget about how good this guy was when the ball was up in the air. Prince of Mukamore right there for the Giants. Retired oh. guys doing well. But DeAndre Hopkins, the left hand, right hand, it doesn't matter. With the fingertips, pulls it in and snags it. And of course, this is the most infamous one. The Hail Mary over the Bills. Best three defenders out there. Trey White, Poirier, and Micah High goes up top and snags it. This is mossed at its finest. And the worst thing, you know, when, you're, when I'm making this playlist, my son, who's seven, a lot of times, he sits down next to me like, Dad, what do you got going on for the show? I'm like, jump balls. He's like, so that's like when you got Moss? Yeah. He's like, did you ever get Moss by any of these guys? I'm like, son, don't don't, don't, <laughs> ask, me, don't ask me those questions. I don't want to answer. But coming in at number four, I'm going with a guy, Devontae, and I don't mean Adams, and I don't mean Smith. I am going with Devontae wow. Parker. Jump ball. This guy goes up and gets it. This list isn't the best receivers in the league. It's guys that when the ball is in the air, they are able to snag it. This is all from last year. Devontae Parker against the Browns going up, contorting his body and coming down with the ball. The concentration to be able to pull it out of the air. Devontae Parker comes over from Miami, goes to New England, stays in the division. And look at this. This thing is a beauty going up and over the top of whoever is in front of him. Devontae Parker, the defenders know this guy is a jump ball specialist. He does it, and he gets it done. May not be the best receiver, but he knows how to go up and get the ball. Next up, we're coming in I at number three. I'm going like with it. Justin Jefferson. Okay, give me that this guy catches the football no matter where it is, goes up. This is him right here going up and getting it against the Arizona Cardinals on the sideline against Antonio Hamilton. And it looks like he's blanking it. As a DB, you hate this when you have Great coverage, and somehow this guy still is able to go up and high point and snag the ball out of the air. And then, yeah, then he does the gritty, and you feel even worse mm -hmm. after it until Here you it make is. a play. And this is the play. Give me you can't make a play like this and not get this shout out. Kirk Cousins back there in the pocket. Like, what the hell? Justin's down there somewhere, just chucks the ball up. Jefferson with one hand on Cam Lewis is able to snag, look at that thing, snag the ball and come down with it. Justin Jefferson, yes, at number three. And at number two, I'm going with a physical specimen. I could have just put up the thing that went viral on social media with this guy jumping up and catching it with one hand, but I went straight to NFL plays. DK Metcalf, a physical specimen out there on the football field. This is him last year against the Jaguars. He makes it look so easy. Just goes up, rips it out of the air, two feet in the ground, and snags that thing over Shaquille Griffin. DK Metcalf right here for the touchdown, back to back against the Atlanta of Falcons going up top. This dude, I remember playing against him for the first time, and Stephon Gilmore was guarding him. I didn't have to guard him at all. And you walk out of the tunnel, and you're just like, damn, I didn't realize he was that big. <laughs> Looking on film, it was like when you watch Calvin Johnson, you couldn't see if that was a tight end lined up like Brandon Pettigrew or DK Metcalf. That catch didn't even count. A double pass, he's able to come away with it. But at number one, I was going through plays yesterday, and this guy had so many jump balls that me and Rich, our producer, had to come down and narrow down to three. I'm going with Mike Williams yes. so on the so L.A. Awesome. Chargers. Mike Williams. This guy, he has made it a true art form of just running down the field. Justin Herbert throws it up, and he snags the ball out of there. This is him against Xavier uh, Howard. Goes uh, up and over, moves him out of the way, tips it to himself, comes down with the ball. He had one to win the game against the Titans late in the game. So many different ones against the Chiefs. This is him. He box, This is a box out in basketball and goes up and rips the ball out of the sky on Mike Hill. Number one for me is Mike Mike Williams on the list from the L.A. Chargers. These are my top five current guys list. when it comes to the jump ball going up and grabbing it. Guys, I want to know what you all think. Did I get it right? Did I leave someone off the list? Please tell me. What do you think? You know, what's the uh, what's the Charles Barkley meme? I wasn't familiar with your game. Yeah. That's to Devontae Parker. I don't think of Devontae as, as, as a true elite red zone and big, you know, 
yep. Mawson guy. You played against him. Um, a name that I don't see here, he might not even be currently on here, I'm not sure. To me, it's Moss all time, and Julio Jones is that other name all time. Now, does Julio still have that fear in the defenders if he's going up there for a jump ball? I gotta uh, think yes. Still have that fear, yes. I think Julio, those high knees coming at you, still has that fear. But as of late, you haven't seen those same jump balls. I feel like him, DeAndre Hopkins, you can say it, but D-Hop, I think, is the guy, and the other ones were more current. Those were last season plays. I go D-Hop higher, too. I just, think, well, I just think the degree of difficulty yeah. on those catches that you see of him. When I knew you were doing this list yesterday, and I'm like, oh, D-Hop's going to be on that without a doubt. No and doubt I about just, it. I don't know. I, a few I, years I, ago, he's number one by far. The right to the left uh, and the left to the right. Like, he's yeah. just, it's just insanity, the awesome. stuff that he does. Giant, giant hands yeah. makes it happen. Julio Jones, a 34-year-old free agent right now. 